stop here and digress a little. little. There are two types of HP t tuners. There's one called an analog tuner. The other is called a digital analog tuner. The analog tuner will do everything the digital analog tuner will do when attached to a KB cable TV signal. It'll simply take the digital signal and transfer it into your laptop. However, when an analog adapter, one that doesn't have digital functions, is attached to a TV antenna only, it will, it will get your signals fine until February of 2009. At that point, the government is taking over the analog channels for law enforcement and to uh, sell them off to, I think, telephone providers. So, at that point, your TV tuner will still work fine to do all your transfers of videos and to watch all the TV you want as long as you hook up to your cable TV box or satellite. But this single antenna, all by itself, will not work with an HP analog tuner. It will work with an HP digital analog tuner. They look exactly the same, they go in the same slot. One is analog only, one is digital analog. Okay? Lots of people will never need the more expensive digital tuner because they're simply going to plug in to one of the cables at home from their cable TV setup. They're going to get digital through the analog tuner right onto their laptop. However, if you intend to use your HP laptop with the antenna only, just letting you know what you're up against. Okay, now, select your TV signal type. Analog only. We'll select that and go next. You are done. Okay, now I'm going to return to the TV settings. Okay, and I'm going to back on out of here. Now I'm back to the Media Center main window. I'll go over here to TV and Movies, Live TV, simply press the OK button. And once you've done that, once you've done that Properties setup in Settings, this is going to work. If you skip that Properties settings setup, you're never going to get that tuner to work. Okay? So that's a little trick you need to know. There's Jay Leno. I can switch to channel 51 here by just selecting 51, pressing enter. Here's our local PBS station, 15. And as you can see with this tiny little antenna, even being inside, this tuner works great. Unbelievable for that little in antenna inside. Look at that picture. I hope that was instructive. If you need one of these TV tuners, we'll have them available at getadapters.com. We have the digital tuner and the analog tuner, whichever you prefer. Thanks for watching. This is uh, a quick, simple lesson in how you can use your HP TV tuner to transfer video from your VHS, Hi8, or similar device like a camera into your laptop where you can edit it and do all kinds of fun things with it. Okay, first of all, what you're going to do is have your HP TV tuner installed with your RCA cord attached. Okay? The RCA cord is the same cords that you see on the back of your DVD player, your VHS player, your Hi8 player. It's got audio, yellow, and two, I'm sorry, video, yellow, and two audio channels, white and red. It has a separate cord for what's called S-Video. S-Video is a separate kind of system that includes the audio and video in one cord instead of in separate cords. Now, depending on what 
type of output you have on the device you're transferring video from, you're either going to use the S-Video or the RCA cords. Look on the back of your device and that'll tell you. Now, I'd like to transfer some video from a camera. Okay, the camera just has one audio track and it has one video track. So I won't be using all three cords, I'll just be using two. In this case, white is actually video so the colors don't match but normally your colors will match but at any rate you attach your outside video source where you're transferring from your VHS machine or whatever you turn on your VHS machine at that point and you're playing the video that you want to transfer and you simply open quick play in your HP laptop once you open Quick Play, you have a menu. Down the left side, it tells you you can choose from the public documents, optical drive, the composite, or the S video cord, or the HP webcam that's built into here. You simply select. S video or composite depending on how you're using which kind of cord you're using to get your video in once you do that the video that's playing on your VHS or whatever you're transferring from is going to show up right here in the middle of quick play at that point you use the quick play functions to record it simply press the recording button and your tape that is playing on your VHS machine is now recording into quick play it'll show up on the playlist down here on the right side as soon as you pu push the stop button and stop the recording your hard drive is probably over a hundred gigs it can probably record for forty hours so uh, you know and you can get an external hard drive and record all your videos to there or burn them to DVD so uh, that's a simple way to transfer your videos it's not any harder than that just get the right cords to attach to your transferring machine. Open up Quick Play. Select the type it's coming in on, Composite or S-Video. And press your record buttons just like your VCR at home. Pause, stop, all that stuff. That's it. Hi8, video camera, or whatever, whatever de device you're transferring video from into your laptop. Here I've got a Betamax player. I'm going to attach the three RCA cables, turn on the Betamax player. Okay, now there's a tape playing of uh, some old horse races. I'll go over here and open HP's Quick Play. HB's Quick Play opens like this, and down the left side of the screen you have a list of sources. This is called the composite cable, so we pick the composite, double click it, and there on the laptop screen is the same picture that's playing on my TV and it's from the beta machine. Now, if I wanted to record the entire beta tape, I would put it at the beginning and obviously turn on the recording function in Quick Play that's located right here at the bottom of the screen. Oops.